forbidden zone. To take photos and movies is forbidden. Well, it's okay for the turkeys to invade, but you cannot take photos and the videos. The place that you took the video is the first degree military zone. Why? It's a classified area. Why? It's forbidden to take pictures. What, what, what is going on there? Nuclear rockets? Nuclear, but what I'm telling you, I'm telling you the law. And yeah, delete is there. Um, I don't use this. Oh, here. Okay, yeah. delete. Okay. What this police officer does not know is that this is only the screen recording from the tablet. It's not the original footage from my drone. I still have it. Nevertheless, he... He tried to get into my mind like It's my job, I have a wife, I have children uh, Don't show this on the internet if there is a bin Yes, I understand On the other hand, the freakish Turkish Invaded this island in 1974 Yeah? And look what they're doing in Afrin, Syria and stuff like that. Look what they do to the Kurdish people. They just all call them terrorists and then you can just bomb them, right? So that's okay. And I'm not allowed to film an abandoned city because you guys invaded it. So, so seriously, on one hand, I'm like, yeah, I might get in trouble because of this if I publish it. But the thing is, I still have it. I have all. If I publish it, I might get in trouble they might, just like the Spanish did, you know, for flying in the national park, they might want to come after me. They got my passport, they know everything about me, right? Not that, that I ever want to go back to Turkey, but it's just another a country where I cannot come anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, of course, civilians should not be allowed to film military objects but you know it's hardly a military object what is it man it's just an empty city it's a ghost town what is out there there's nothing to defend you just call it a military area and i think i think the whole thing is that this is shameful for the turkish shameful for the turkish government that there is a whole city out there abandoned used to be luxury apartments they just came in and everybody lost their property how many thousands of people just lost their property and their money and their savings and their holiday home or whatever they did there they, they might have lived there you know it's like <clears throat> it's shameful for the Turkish that it's still laying out there empty and that's why they don't want you to film it but is this guy gonna lose his job of course not because he was in negotiation with uh, the head of the department police blah 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 they wanted to know what it is so he did not make this decision just by himself but the thing is if i do publish it and they will find it then they're not going to be so nice to the next one who's going to film out there well it was an adventure. I shouldn't have flown over it that last that, that last part. I was like, okay, let's go, let's fly over it. Because I think that's when they heard it. Because it's, when it's right above you, you will hear it. And I, and I, there is a police post out there. So they must have hear, heard it. Or Or it's like one of these fishermen is like, undercover agent just sitting there fishing I think that if that would be the case it would have been there right away and it's only a thousand euros he said a thousand euros for filming a military object well in Spain it's 660 for flying in a national park it's it's like only two times as much but I would have gone in jail for one night and then going to court and then we have three, four days further, he said, and maybe you miss your flight. Well, the thing is, I would have been happy to go to jail for that, if only I would be sure that I got my footage and could publish it. But 
I, I tell you what I was thinking. I was thinking in my head, oh, going to jail for a day, three, four days, a thousand euros, I can handle that. I can handle all of that. You know, I'm not going to be broke for a thousand euros. It's a lot of money, but I'm not going to be broke. But then they will go through all my stuff and they will get the footage from the drone, recordings from the camera and everything. They will hear me say like, the Turkish invaded the island in 1974. And they're not gonna like that. And that's where I'm gonna be in big trouble. All right. So I, I was like, what is the best thing I can do? So I will keep my footage. And I thought going to jail is not the best way to keep my footage. But I tell you, if I was sure that I could publish my video, I would have been happy to go to jail. Well, unfortunately, it hasn't been like this. Better luck next time. Later. I want to say one more thing about it, and that is, from the moment these police agents came up to me, I knew that there was nothing going to happen like not even paying or um, they will not confiscate my drone or they will not send me to jail it was like they were so so easy like okay here we got another one as as if this happens all the time um, and they were a little bit like bored with the whole situation like we got to do this again that's what the impression i had at least, I did not think like they're gonna do any harm to me in whatever way. But I did think I need to be able to rescue my data somehow, because probably that's what they want to. They want to delete the data. So and that's why I gave them the tablet. Like like here it is. You know this is it. This is what I've been doing. Like just being honest with them and they didn't think about the drone and that the drone has an SD card and records the footage as well. The thing is, if this was such an incredibly bad thing, like spy level bad, then they, they would have taken me like, you come over, come on, this is an issue, what did you do? You know, but it was not like that. Because they all know that everybody takes photographs of this city whenever they can. I mean, <laughs> there are thousands of people on the beach in the summer. And you think nobody takes a photo from there. I th that's just... They don't want you to take photos because it's an embarrassment for them. That's why much 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 later i just want to show you what happens if you google for russia right and then take images look there's tons of images this is from a youtube video clearly this is from a drone, shot by a drone. This is from an airplane. This is from a drone. <laughs> it's just all over the place. You see that? And this is what I did when I looked this place up. There is so much on the internet Look, it's all, and then they say you cannot take pictures, man. <laughs> okay, let's have Varosha drone footage shows stunning view of Cyprus. Video, 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 it's all, all, this is all videos, all videos. You see? It's not just one, it is just hundreds. 
hundreds of videos about Harosha. So what are we talking about? Oh, I cannot make photos and publish them on the internet. There's only one reason why they don't want this. Something is going on there. There's something going on. And they don't want anybody to see that and film that and put it on the internet. Because then they're going to be in trouble. Or something like that. Criminal activities cannot endure to daylight.